Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about an upcoming tropical cyclone in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Will this hit the United States? Will this hit any land? Or where will it go? We're going to answer all of those questions within this video. Alright, now first things first, we're taking a look at the National Weather Services or the National Hurricane Center's two-day graphical tropical weather outlook. And as you can see, over the course of the next two days, there's a 50-50 shot that this, one that this one basically develops into a subtropical cyclone. I expect that this video might even be out after this one has already developed, unfortunately. I'm making this on the morning hours of May 20th right now, which is Thursday. So Thursday morning, it is 8.13 a.m. from the time I'm making this video. I'm probably going to upload this tomorrow on the 21st, Friday. So if it is already a tropical cyclone, that is why, because I have been making this video the day before. Uh, so some of this information might be coming kind of like talking about the past for you from when you're listening to this. I know it's confusing, but that's really just how it is, I guess. Now, by the time we move on and take a look at that five-day graphical tropical weather outlook, you can see that we have a 90% chance of development with this one. So the National Hurricane Center is almost certain that this one is going to develop uh, over the next five days. Another unfortunate statistic here is that this one looks to be heading towards Bermuda, possibly, uh, and then kind of doing a loop, and then, well, we'll have to see what it's going to do by then, because that is pretty far out, and obviously things can change quite a bit uh, over the next five days, especially with the direction. Uh, so we're going to want to pay close, close, close attention to that, uh, and I don't want to give anything away too soon before it's, you know, nearly certain. So uh, basically, I know that it is heading to the north, and then it's expected to curve back south. Uh, so it's kind of going to do a horseshoe, and then what it does from there is a little bit more of a question mark, but it's expected that it's going to kind of loop back around and end up pretty much where it's at now, or a similar region, and then possibly head up towards Greenland uh, or Europe. So this one's going to be all over the place, guys. This one is going to be heading in all sorts of wacky directions, and this is the most common storm track that we see when they do kind of a loop or anything weird like that, where things can kind of go unexpected. Uh, we've seen this time and time again where things can go in completely different directions than anticipated. By the time we take a look at that satellite imagery, you can see that basically there's not a lot going on yet. Uh, we need a lot more development here before this one will be a tropical cyclone. It's just not even organized enough at all right now. I do expect that it will get its act together, so that isn't really a question. But right now, I know that we're more than 12 hours away most likely from tropical development because of just how underdeveloped this looks at this point in time. Now what we're going to do here in a moment is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at that European model's probability of tropical depression, probability of tropical storm, and then probability of hurricane to see what this model thinks is the possible outcome for the maximum intensity of this storm. All right, now here we are taking a look at the European model's probability of tropical depression, which is 20 knots. As you can see, in that dark red there in the middle of the Atlantic, we have a 90 to 100% chance that within the next three days, according to this model, we see a tropical depression form. Uh, so this model is almost certain that that is going to occur before uh, Sunday is around. Very, very interesting. Obviously, this is one of the best models in the world, so we take it very, very seriously whenever this model says, well, practically anything. Uh, but definitely to see it this confident. Uh, is, is a big, big, big factor moving forward. Uh, it really feels like over the next three days. So within that five-day period, it thinks the earlier portion of that we could or should most likely have a tropical depression status storm uh, by then. From what I've heard, it's most likely that that will occur by tomorrow uh, is what I've been hearing from the National Hurricane Center. So I do believe that, you know, by the time we reach nightfall on Friday, uh, we will have a, a tropical depression. Oh, or sorry, you're probably watching this on Friday. By tonight. On Friday, it should be tropical depression status if it isn't already. Now, by the time we take a look at that probability of tropical storm, which is 34 knots, you can see within the next three days, this is also a 90 to 100% chance as well. So this one is also extremely confident that we're going to go from tropical depression status all the way up to tropical storm status in a hurry. Uh, so this could be a higher end or... Yeah, I mean, pretty much for this time of year, a tropical storm is a little bit of a higher end storm. Uh, so I think that we could reach that status quite easily. Uh, and it's looking almost likely at this point that, that we will reach that status. All right. Now for the probability of hurricane, which is 64 knot, we have 
0 to 10% chance. So there's a sharp drop off there. This model thinks we will easily reach tropical storm status, but won't even approach hurricane status. There's not even a hardly a chance at this point, according to this model, that we will see any sort of uh, hurricane status from this storm whatsoever, which is obviously expected. It's extremely rare to get a hurricane status storm in the month of May. Uh, it has happened a handful of times, but those probabilities drastically move up once we head into June, July, August, September, obviously, continuing to increase, increase, increase uh, as we reach into the fall. Uh, but this time of year, it's just extremely rare. A tropical storm is pretty rare, but a hurricane is extremely rare. So I'm not surprised whatsoever that we do not expect to reach that hurricane status. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on. We're going to move on and take a look at the spaghetti models. Where is this storm going to go? Finally, uh, we're going to get to that portion of the video. Now, here is our our uh, spaghetti model guidance here and you can see it looks kind of like spaghetti that's why it's called spaghetti models there's models all over the place and this shows us where those models each individually think that basically this storm is going to go and you can see the ones to the left kind of take it for that loop that I was talking about and that's the one that really reaches close to Bermuda or if not hits Bermuda and then it curves back northward and you can tell that they either go towards uh, Newfoundland, Greenland, or possibly Europe or Africa, but there's a wide range of locations that this one could head towards after it basically does that loop. There is some that just take it straight north and to the right, or better yet, eastward, um, and, and that heads more towards Europe, Africa, and Greenland still. So regardless, they end up kind of going to the same place after that is all said and done, uh, whether or not it does the loop or not. And the good thing is, is that takes it over the ocean for a very, very long time, especially the north, the, the very northern portions of the North Atlantic, which is even uh, colder, obviously. Uh, so that should break this storm up nicely. Uh, and here's our GEFS model guidance, which is our GFS ensemble model guidance here and you can see most of these do this loop and then head again back towards the north uh, this one particularly th towards greenland there uh, where it should should be a much weaker storm obviously by that point all right now here is our intensity guidance and this shows us each each line is basically an individual model and this one shows us uh, how intense these models expect this storm to get and as you can see pretty much all of these take us towards a middle tier tropical storm 45 to 55 knots basically uh, and that's about it. Um, they really don't want to even approach hurricane status with this one. And all of them take us to tropical storm status. So I think it's extremely likely at this point that we see a tropical storm. But extremely unlikely that we see a hurricane at any point during this particular event here. Alright, now here is a... This is just a normal model. We're seeing the wind on the screen now. Uh, so this shows it, us how it would develop. This is by about maybe the time I'm making this video, Thursday morning... Uh, and as you can see, kind of underdeveloped, we have 20 knots showing up to maybe 20, or sorry, that's miles per hour, 20 mile per hour to uh, 30 mile per hour showing up around that spin there in the middle that you can see. Uh, but by the time we're reaching maybe late morning, early afternoon, uh, some of those stronger winds begin to develop. We see the oranges and reds, so maybe 30 to 40 miles per hour. Uh, we could already be approaching uh, tropical depression status by later today, uh, and maybe even tropical storm status by the time this video is getting uploaded. Uh, so that's just something to, you know, obviously be aware of. If you're watching this video and there's a tropical storm, well, that's what happened. Uh, by the time we're taking a look at about 5 a.m. here on Friday, May 21st, you can see even stronger with the winds near that low pressure center. We see the reds showing up 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. And that seems to be the maximum of this storm because, it, as you can see, by the time we're reaching about Friday afternoon time frame, maybe 3 or 4 p.m., Oh, this one has already weakened a little bit, possibly. There's still some oranges around 30 to 40 to maybe even 50 mile per hour winds, uh, but really it is weakened out by this point, and especially by the time we're reaching Saturday afternoon, you can see only blues and greens around. It's going to be a very weak storm already by the time we're reaching Saturday, Sunday time frame. Anyway, for our confidence tab, this one is basically uh, hours away from developing. We have a 6 out of 6 confidence. Uh, there's basically no doubt in my mind that we will have a tropical depression, uh, and I'm extremely confident there will be a tropical storm as well. Uh, so that is why I'm at a 6 out of 6 maximum confidence. It's been a while, but we are here. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Bambenek, James Wade, Dovi Nagel, Letter the Pan, and Donna Carnes. Alongside our Diamond Patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Codalesa, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Sidney Klein, Mark J, Luke Falego, Garys, John Coolisey, and Dwight Phelan. If you would like to be a part of this awesome Patreon 
uh, patron end screen of the day. You can do so by joining our very awesome Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, our Weather Top Dogs, Hair Farms 1, alongside Cap Bite as well. If you want to join this one, you can do so by clicking that button next to the subscribe button down below today. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button. Be sure to leave a comment down below to help that YouTube algorithm out. And be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.